quick tutorial on how to, I'm going to do a step by step, show you the instructions, how to make a portal, like you go know, going into, into time, going back in time, whatever the case may be, making a space portal. Now, okay, so what we're going to do, we've got our image up and ready, background. As we do with everything else, we always go to the, the layers over here, background. We right click the layer and duplicate the layer. You can call it anything you like. That's the rule number one with all Photoshop stuff because if you make a mistake, instead of going backwards, 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 you know, reverse, 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 redo, redo, you just delete the layer and go back to the other layer. So that's fine. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to this image, which you downloaded off the internet. It's just called Energy Portal. We, I mean, they're free images. You can get them anywhere. Um, I'm just going to go up to the ecliptic. ecliptic. No, we won't even use that. No, no, no. We're just going to use the whole image. Go to go to select, select all, edit, copy. And go back to the image that we're going to put it onto. And we're going to paste it there. Paste it. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. We'll get rid of the energy portal one now. Now, with this, um, what we do now, we on the on the layers here. We set the blending mode. Now, you can do all different types of things to make this look transparent and all that type of stuff. So it's just not really going to cut it. So we go to the blending modes. Normal is the normal one there. So it's all there. Dissolve, darken. You can go through all these different things and look what it does. It changes. Now we want to get the lighter. Lighten. That looks good. Spring. Oh yeah, a bit more fuzzier. Dodge. No, kind of dodge. Lighter color. I think green might be the one for us. Okay. Now let's zoom out. That's looking a bit more realistic. Okay, we go back over here to the move tool. As you can see there in the little illustration, it tells us what we're doing here. We're moving, moving the subject. Okay, let's get that and we can move it into position where we want it. I'm pretty sure we had it in the right position there anyway. Okay, uh, now we're going to go up to image. We're going to adjust it so that it's on a bit of an angle. It looks like it's on a bit of an angle. We go up to edit and come down to transform. Come across here and go down to distort. I click that. Okay. Now, on the right here of the transformation box, I'm going to click up. See what it's doing? It's changing the image around it. So we can see what we're doing here, and it looks a bit more like it's on a, an angle. Uh, I'll put a bit more like that. That looks better. And just click the move tool, whatever you want to click. Move tool's the best, like that. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, the background image, the one that we copied, um, that's the one that's going to be the color, the color that we need, because we're going to erase on the inside of this portal so it looks like it's all beautiful colors and everything else in the background all right now oh the other way around sorry so <laughs> i'm stupid silly um okay now what we're going to do here we're going to change adjustments we're going to go down to let's say brightness contrast yep and we just can't the contrast right down so it looks quite dull brightness we'll take that down so it looks quite dull okay and now we're going to take it down to hue of oh, color balance i'm going to take it down to a yellow a bit more yellow than anything else so it's looking a little bit more old and faded like that okay so you can adjust it and do whatever you want whatever colors you like but that's just one way of doing it uh, now the magic. We're going to go across to the left hand side here with the tools and we're going to select the eraser tool. There it is, the eraser tool. 
Don't worry about all these other ones. Just the eraser tool. That's the one we need at this stage. Okay. Now we're going to go select the top layer, the one that's got this portal, and make sure that's in position where we want it with the move tool. Because once we move it, that's it. Because the, the, the layer underneath it is the one that we're going to be uh, erasing the background on. So that's where we want it. Right, click anything. Now, click the background copy. This is the one that we actually changed the color. Now we're going to zoom in. And we're going to use the eraser tool. And okay, make sure we've got the brush size. We've got the brushes on the right here. Make sure that we've got the right size brush. You know, we just muck around with as much as you like. Got hardness, you can make it really hard. Really hard, you can make it soft. Don't want space and forget about that and the size and you make sure that you've got one of these selected see how on the bottom right here on the bottom here, it gives you a bit of an idea of what you're mucking around with working with so we're just going to work around with the size get it nice and soft and make sure we've got that background clicked that's the one the color one that we're using here and just gently go around like that Okay, so we can go a little bit bigger in size here. That's fine. Now what I'm doing, I'm actually erasing. We can't see too much through here, but I'm actually erasing the dull picture. And it's showing the nice colorful picture from behind. Okay, so it's a lot greener as you can see there. It looks a lot greener in the photo. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing here. And I think we can probably, so we take, take that off as, as the original background. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit more dull, so to speak. Take exposure down, contrast. Don't know. You can muck around with things like this and do whatever you want. But it gives you a basic understanding and idea here. So there we go, guys. That's how you do a portal in Photoshop. Hopefully that gives you some inspiration and ideas what to do, how to do things like this. Um, please comment below. Let me know if you want to know anything else. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.